Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So once again, we're here with another stuck at home. Let's do a nice new first impressions tutorial that I've been promising to do forever, but uh, have not found the time to in 2020 and now we have nothing but time. So here I am. I'm really excited about this one. Um, I'm going to be doing a first impression of a, of a couple different brush sets I've received. And I'm also going to be focusing on the Fenty Beauty uh, Moroccan Spice Palette. I actually got this from Sephora during their Christmas sale. I don't really buy from Sephora very often. It's not that I don't like their products. It's just, I really love Ulta's reward system. And um, I mean, Ulta's not perfect, but overall I think their reward system is really great. I really like what they're doing for their employees during um, the COVID issues that's going on. So that makes me support them once again, even more. But that's pretty much who I buy my makeup from if I'm buying from like not a direct vendor. And so that's really why I haven't really picked up and used a lot of Fenty stuff because they are Sephora exclusive or you have to buy them directly from Fenty. And normally I'm going through Ulta. So that's what's kept me from ordering from them before. Um, but I've really wanted to try pretty much all of their products. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it. So during uh, during Christmas, they had this bad boy on sale for 50% off. I think I paid like $27 for it, which in my opinion is a great price for a palette anyway. And then Fenty is um, definitely, it's not a, a high, high price, but it definitely has one of those like medium to high price points for their products. So $27 for this lovely palette is really, really, really exciting. I have not tested it. So it's literally just been sitting in my, uh, my, my makeup closet collection for months waiting for me to film this. So what better time to do it than right now? Uh, yeah, along with that, I'm going to be using a couple of different brush sets that I've received in different subscription boxes. I've honestly gotten them so long ago. I think they both came from boxies at different points, but I can't promise that because it's been a hot minute. A lot of times when I get full brush sets, I will um, keep them kind of off to the side and uh, leave them in their packaging in case I do decide to give them for a giveaway or I decide I wanna pull them out later. And uh, honestly, my brushes are super dirty and I did not feel like washing them, so I pulled these out. So the first one we're going to be using is the La Russe Chets. I can't speak. The La Russe set, um, which I believe we received in Boxy not too long ago. And I really like these brushes just from the aesthetic standpoint of them. Um, there are two face brushes still in there, but I've just pulled out the eyeshadow brushes. I have a Kabuki brush, a shadow brush, and a blending, a tapered blending brush. And they have these really nice, sturdy, not like slick, textured grips on them. And I really like that. Grips for a brush are something that really depends on like, of course the brush itself is the most important part, but the grip itself is also a big deal for me. It's, I have a weird thing with like textures in my hand. And so I don't, I don't know. It's just like one of those weird quirks. So I really like the feel of those, which means I think I'm going to probably enjoy using them. And then the other set I have is this little like mini Lexi brush. It has a four set of what I would call more precision-based eyeshadow brushes, which I really appreciate. I love Luxie. I did not start using them until I started subscribing to subscription boxes and then I started getting a bunch of them. And now they're actually one of my favorite brands of brushes to purchase. I, um, a lot of times when people will ask like, hey, what brushes should I buy? I point them towards Luxie and Real Techniques because I think they're both quality brushes at an affordable price point. So I'm excited to use this one as well. This particular set is freaking adorable just in terms of its aesthetic as well. They have like these cute little, I love the package. I'm gonna be saving the package on both of them because I love them so much. But they've got these really cute little gold handles. They're all shiny, which I love glitter. So that is always a plus. And then it just gives you a nice little variety. Once again, of like what I would call more precision based because the brushes just aren't huge. So that is a lot of rambling um, before we even get started, but I did wanna kind of explain what we're doing and why I'm doing it that way. Uh, really quickly, if you haven't subscribed to the page yet, you should do that. Uh, we're fun here. So if you like what you see, please uh, subscribe and give the video a thumbs up and uh, enjoy whatever I wind up doing, so. All right, without further ado, we're gonna jump into the makeup aspect of this. So just looking at the colors, I'll show you guys again. There's a lot of really gorgeous neutrals and a lot of really gorgeous shimmers as well. So I think I'm probably going to, if you've watched or been with the channel and watched any of my tutorials or seen any of my makeup, you know I'm not really like a grays or a blues person. So I think I'm probably going to stick with stuff I'm more comfortable with. 
um, which is like the purples, the pinks, and the light browns. Um, I really love this kind of deep corally color that's in the center. I wouldn't really call it a red and I really wouldn't call it an orange. It's kind of a cross between both, but I think it's a really beautiful shade. So I'm actually gonna start with that one. And I am going to take, um, I'm gonna take my shadow brush from the La Russe, which is this nice kind of like flat one. I'm just going to get a little bit on that bad boy. And I'm gonna go and do my outer corners. All right, so that's what we're working with so far. I like the eyeshadow and I like the brush. I like them both so far. Um, it's really easy to apply. I'm, there's very little fallout on the palette, which I, you guys know if you've heard me talk about palettes before, fallout is something that frustrates me. And so when I have a palette, I mean, I know it's part of it and it, it won't make me like say that a palette isn't worth it if there is fallout, but palettes that have virtually no fallout are huge in my opinion. So I really like that there's not a lot right now. I really, I like the shade and I like the brush a lot. And I like the formula of the eyeshadow too. I'm really digging everything. I was kind of hoping I was going to like everything. Like I said, I had high hopes for all the products, but it's always a risk when you're, you're using things, especially like what, what I'm doing is probably a bad idea because I have no control source. I am using an all new eyeshadow, all new brushes, everything. So I'm like, if I were to not like something, it would have to be like, well, what was it that was the issue? Was it the eyeshadow? Was it I was using the wrong brush? What was it? So I'm really happy with how I'm enjoying everything thus far. I am doing just a little bit of the red on my under eye as well. It's very sloppy right now, but I'll go in and clean it up at the end. All right, cool. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade above that dark red one that we use, which is like a, what I would call like a light peachy pink shade. And I'm going to take the tapered blending brush with this from the same LaRousse um, kit. And I'm going to just pick up a good amount of that. That brush really did a nice job of like picking up all of the pigments. So once again, I'm not sure if it's that the palette doesn't have a lot of fallout or the brushes are doing a good job of picking it up, but either way, I'm very happy with how it's going right now. Okay, so I did one eye, the camera turned off, did one eye. I'm gonna go back and do the other eye. And I'm basically just patting on a little layer on top of where I already made the outline of the outer corner. And I'm bringing it into my crease not all the way down, but like in just a little bit. I think the shades really do a nice job of complementing each other. They are really easy to stack on top of each other as well, which that's just nothing but good formula right there. Like you really can't say anything about it other than that's just a good formula, one that can stack really nicely and complements each other very well. Okay, now I'm going to go in with, so I will say my biggest, my biggest downside of the palette right now is I don't really have a nice light shade that isn't glitter that I could use as like a blending shade into my brow bone before I go and put like a glitter pigment in to highlight it. I'm trying to decide how I want to handle that. If I wanna just do a dark color, what? I'm gonna go in with a glitter shade first and do my glitter on my eyelid before I've tried, cause I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, I'm actually going to take the other side of the eyeshadow brush, the one that I didn't use with the red, and I'm gonna go in with, there's a really nice kind of champagne color. I literally just like, if you're looking at the palette, I just I just went like that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with that shade and I'm gonna use that to do my eyeshadow lid. I don't know what that was. My eyelid eyeshadow, I think is what I was trying to say, but yeah, I really like that. I really, really like that a lot. That's a beautiful shade right there. My one my one complaint to myself is that I wish I had a Fenty highlighter because everybody talks about how amazing the Fenty highlighters were and I would love to have been able to do that as well with the eyeshadows. I did not buy one. I didn't see one on sale and I wasn't really, I would only shop sales a lot of times. So that was, that was my own fault, but I'm kicking myself right now for not having thought about that um, because I would love to show you guys one of those. And also I would love to test it out for myself because I would love to, to know how truly transcendent it, transcendental it is because everybody says it's amazing, but I don't have that. So just have one of my standard like Lorac ones, which I like a lot, but it's, it's, you know, stuff that I've used before. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to test it. I may wind up hating how it looks, but I think I'm actually going to just take my foundation shade and try and blend in this and then do a highlight under my brow bone. Like I said, it may not turn out well, but I'm just going to get my foundation. I'm going to get my normal blending brush. And uh, we're gonna see how, how that winds up turning out. And then if I have to fix it, I'll fix it because you know what? We're here to experiment. I don't hate that. That cleaned it up pretty nicely, don't you think? I always ask Nikki and he's just like, 
yeah, I don't think that turned out too bad. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this teeny tiny little brush, really cute little like nice, this is what I, I don't know how other people use it, but this type of brush is what I would do for like spot areas for highlight or glitter eye pigments. So I'm gonna use this for my inner corner and I'm gonna use this to highlight my brow bone. And I'm gonna go in with a white shade because I really, really am interested to see how it turns out. Oh, I got a big glob right there. It's fine, it's fine. That is actually a really translucent shade, which I was not expecting. A lot of times with white glitter shades, it winds up like really coming off white, but it kind of almost like, it's translucent and then if you catch it in the right lighting, then it looks a lot brighter, which I like. It does a good job of brightening, but not making it look, I, I don't even know the right word, chalky or that doesn't sound right either, but it's, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. A lot of times with the white glitter shades, white especially, it's just like, if you put it on there, all of a sudden it's like, it's white and you can tell. This is really, it's very neutral, but it's very well pigmented, which I appreciate. A hard balance to find. I'm liking this palette a lot. I Like I said, I expected to like it. I've heard nothing but amazing things about Fenty. And of course, Rihanna is amazing and I love everything she stands for. So I was hoping for the best, but I am definitely pleasantly, um, not surprised, but pleasantly uh, reaffirmed in my opinions of what I was hoping would happen here. So I am gonna do some uh, mascara really quickly off camera and then I'll show you guys how it winds up looking. I don't think I can really judge a, I, I look how I feel about it until I have the mascara on. But like I said, right now I'm very happy with how it turned out. So yeah, I'll be right back with some mascara. Okay, so this is the final look with mascara and everything. I am a big fan of it. It is a very neutral, but still, noticeable um, eye look. It's very much like, hey, you can wear this wherever. Not that it really, you know, if you've watched me for any length of time, you know that I really don't care <laughs> what the occasion is. I'll do whatever I look I feel like. But this is one that is a very neutral one. I don't think anybody would ever look at you and be like, wow, that's crazy. But it's a good palette. It's a solid palette. Honestly, I got it on sale, but if I had paid full price for it, I wouldn't be too disappointed. Um, the only thing that I would want a little bit more of maybe would be those neutral shades that I feel like I could blend with, but I mean, it worked out fine using just my foundation for it. And next time I use the palette, I probably will use it with another palette just so I can have some lighter shades to go in and blend with. But overall, I'm a big fan of it. Um, I definitely wanna pick up more Fenty products um, right now, just with everything going on. And we're also buying a house and I'm trying not to spend money. I'm not really ordering a lot of stuff, but eventually I will be ordering stuff again. And when that happens, I think I'm gonna try and pick up some of the high highlighters and potentially some of her foundations as well because they're all things that I've been really wanting to try. So, oh, and I'm, the brushes too. I also use the brushes. I liked all the brushes a lot. Um, I liked, I mainly use the LaRousse ones and I really like those. I've never used that brand before. So I'm very excited about how much I did enjoy them. And then Luxie, I always enjoy using their brushes. And um, yeah, I didn't use a ton. I think I just used maybe the one, but a, I liked it a lot and they're adorable. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like I said before, please consider joining our Dark Angel family. We are a very supportive supportive group here. I love all of my followers. I will fight for you guys and I will always be honest with you. So I hope if that's something that appeals to you, you will consider joining. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you see when we post videos. And then, uh, yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.